My name is Roberto Posada. I'm a professor of pediatrics and a specialist in pediatric infectious diseases at the Icahn School of Medicine at Mount Sinai. Perfect. And thank you for joining us today. Does Omicron impact children? Yes, uh, the Omicron variant of COVID-19 definitely infects children of all ages. Is the Omicron variant more of a risk to infants and toddlers? The Omicron variant is uh, very widespread and it affects people of all ages, including infants, toddlers, school-age kids, adolescents, uh, as well as adults. It really does not discriminate by age. Everybody's at risk. What are the symptoms of Omicron in children? The symptoms of Omicron for the vast majority of children are gonna be very similar to other common illness of childhood. So things like fever, runny nose, cough, congestion. Uh, children that are old enough may complain of sore throat or may have difficulty swallowing or eating because of uh, the throat hurts. Some kids also complain of abdominal pain and sometimes even diarrhea. And how can children protect themselves from Omicron? Really the most important uh, thing that we have to protect ourselves from Omicron is vaccination. Uh, that goes a long way and children ages five and older are eligible to receive the vaccine and I strongly encourage them to, to receive the vaccine. In addition to that, uh, wearing a mask uh, and maintaining social distancing um, is very important, avoiding crowded places. It's gonna be key, especially this uh, few weeks that Omicron has been so widespread. Uh, if you don't have to go out, uh, definitely avoid it. Uh, teaching children to wash their hands frequently, either with water and soap or an alcohol-based sanitizer, it's also very important. Um, staying at home, if you're sick, if your child is sick, don't send your child uh, to school. That way you can prevent the infection uh, from spreading to others. And um, testing often. Um, if you think somebody in your family or child has uh, COVID, reach out to your doctor about testing and follow the directives of the school if your kid goes to school uh, regarding testing. What if my child isn't old enough for a COVID-19 vaccine? Unfortunately, the vaccine is not available yet for kids that are four years of age and younger. Um, so in that case, it's uh, even more important for other uh, household family members, parents, older siblings, whoever else lives at home to be vaccinated, um, avoiding again, crowded places, wear a mask and frequent uh, hand washing. How can we treat our children from Omicron? Uh, minor symptoms of Omicron, like fever and pain, can be treated uh, with Tylenol or ibuprofen. Um, and the vast majority of kids can be treated that way at home. But if you think that your child is sicker, having difficulty breathing, breathing fast, seems to be struggling to breathe, or just um, eating so little that you're worried they may be getting dehydrated, please call uh, your doctor right away. Do children between ages five to 11 who recently have been vaccinated have protection against Omicron? The vaccine offers a, a high level of protection against Omicron. It's not 100%, so people that are vaccinated can still get sick, but they're less likely to get sick. And if they do get sick, it's less likely that they're gonna uh, get severely sick from it. So most of the children that we're seeing in the hospital with Omicron or with COVID, are children that have not received the vaccine or maybe have received only one dose of the vaccine and not that two doses. Should my child receive the booster shot if they are eligible, will the booster shot protect my child from Omicron? Absolutely, the booster shot is important because after uh, a number of months, the protection from the vaccine starts to decrease. So the current recommendation is that for children ages 12 and older that received the initial series of the Pfizer vaccine uh, more than five months ago, after five months, they should be receiving the booster for added protection against COVID, including protection against the Omicron variant. And how soon can kids get boosted? Is it five or six months after the second vaccine? Um, and also what if they had COVID? Should they get boosted? And does that affect the timing of the uh, shot number three? 
So for children ages five to 11, we don't have a booster yet because we just started vaccinating those children just about two months ago. So they don't need a booster at this point. Children that are ages 12 and older that received the vaccine uh, five months ago or, or before that, uh, they're eligible to receive the booster uh, uh, five months after the last shot. Is, it, is all this the same for 12 to 17 and five to 12, or does it vary by age? It varies by age. Uh, children uh, five to 11 years of age are not eligible for a booster at this point, but they're eligible to, for the first two shots of the vaccine. Children 12 to 17, uh, they're eligible uh, for boosters five months after they complete their initial uh, two shots. Do all kids get the same dose of the vaccine or does it vary by age? There's two different doses that are used for children um, of the Pfizer vaccine, which is the only vaccine that is currently approved for children. Uh, children um, ages 12 and older get the same dose as adults. Children five to 11 get a lower dose of the same vaccine. Should kids get the flu shot too? That's a very important question and children should be receiving the flu vaccine. Um, flu vaccine is also circulating in the New York area at very high levels right now. And the symptoms can be very similar to those of COVID and can be confused. In addition, uh, flu by itself can be dangerous. Uh, so we do recommend that every child gets vaccinated for the flu. And children ages six months and older can receive the flu vaccine. And can they get that vaccine at the same time or what is the recommended timing? The flu vaccine and the COVID vaccine can be administered at the same time. They do not need to be separated in time. And lastly, is there anything else that parents should know about vaccines and booster shots? The vaccines uh, for COVID are extremely safe. They have been studied in patients of all ages. Serious side effects are very, very rare. Uh, common side effects are minor and include things like fever, soreness at the site of injection. Um, those are minor things that resolve after 24 hours or so, but they are very, very effective, these vaccines, at preventing serious disease caused by COVID. They're very effective at keeping people out of the hospital if they do get COVID.